The sophisticated syncretism of the Hellenistic age was only the first step in, in that process of resolution. By it the Greeks merely learned to combine foreign gods with their own, and in so doing they accustomed themselves to separate, however imperfectly they may have expressed the notion, the supernatural essences from their Iranian, Egyptian or Greek externals. As the Stoic saw, Aphrodite, Astarte and Isis were different names for a single reality, as were Zeus, Jupiter, Ahura and Bol. In AD 19 under Tiberius there was, in addition, a resounding scandal involving the Isiac priesthood, and wholesale deportations followed. This was the last serious difficulty. Egypt was by then a Roman province, and the political associations of the cult had consequently disappeared. From Claudius onward, Isis was supreme among the alien gods who had gained a foothold in the empire. Caligula, Domitian and Caracalla gave her magnificent temples at the heart of Rome. There were forty Tisseropiums at Alexandria alone. In each was celebrated the daily liturgy in honour of Isis. Other gods might have occasional feast days in the Roman fasti, but Isis was honoured every day in her temples. It is not difficult to understand the appeal of Isis, constantly before the eye of the believer. She was the protected and celebrated object of a highly organised cult apparatus that had all the appearances of a church. The complex upper and lower priesthoods were almost certainly Egyptian dominated, they involved an at least occasional reading of hieroglyphs, though there is some evidence that the Romans attempted to take control of such a powerful institution. There was, too, an idealized code of behavior that had progressed far beyond what had earlier been simply ritual purity to a genuine moral innocence involving chastity and abstinence. Finally, Isis enjoyed an attractive ritual adorned by hymns, litanies, and an impressive pictorial decor. The public rituals in honour of Isis took place annually between October 26th and November 3rd, when the great myth of the seeking and the finding of Osiris was dramatised with moving splendour. There were, as well, lesser feasts like the sailing of Isis on March 5th. All the holy days were celebrated with public processions in which the images of the Egyptian gods were carried.